everyone, it's Horizon. And Liz. And welcome to the preview for the Patriots at uh, the Jaguars. Since the, fortunately for them, the hurricane did not hit Florida. Unfortunately, if you're in the Carolinas. Yeah, the flooding so is ridiculous. We'll be okay. Um, anyway, I'll go over the injuries first. Um, there's not too many. Of note, uh, Burkhead got a concussion at some point. I don't know when. Um, I guess probably didn't practice. But I'm not sure. I don't think he'll play. That sucks since he's a very versatile running back. The, uh, and since Sonny Michelle probably probably uh, probably won't play, and Jeremy Hill is done because of he tore his ACL. So thank you, uh, James Devlin. Appreciate that. <laughs> I like Devlin, but man. Shit, don't don't hit your own guy with the helmet. Hopefully that doesn't mess up his head getting his head nah, too much. I, don't think so. I it hope it doesn't. Uh, Dean Crossan has a hamstring injury. Frankly, who cares? He's just an extra. He's not relevant. He's just an extra back. Marcus Cannon is still dealing with his calf. I don't know if he'll play. If he does play, they'll rotate in Waddle here and there. Waddle's solid. It's not the end of the world, but Marcus Cannon is, I think, their best lineman overall. Although. Um, Oh, what's his name? Brown? Yeah. Brown has been excellent at left tackle. Trent Brown, yeah. So, Jacksonville Jaguars only have one player injured. I don't think he's going to play, and unfortunately it is a big injury. It's to Leonard Fournette, who's, uh, I think, their best offensive player. At least yeah. in my opinion he is. He's really good. Pulled his hamstring, didn't participate at all in practice. I'd be surprised if he played. And if he does play, there's no way he's going to be that effective. I wouldn't think, anyway. Um, so, I mean, Jacksonville hasn't really changed much from their playoff run. No. They're still a very solid de defense, uh, solid corners, solid pass rush. Um, I guess as the Patriots will go spread offense and target matchups against uh, uh, safeties and um, especially linebackers. They'll probably use a lot of James White out of the backfield. Probably. That's, that's what they did in that super, in that, in that uh, championship game. And then, of course, they used a lot of Amendola. Unfortunately, he's not there. And they don't have a solid slot receiver, which is a problem because that was another weakness that Jacksonville has trouble sometimes with slot receivers. But there's not much that they can do about that. Edelman is suspended and Amendola left. So this game's probably going to be a lot of, to do with the running backs out of the backfield. Yeah. A lot I agree. of check downs. Um, it's probably one of the hardest games of the year for the Patriots because it's in Jacksonville. Uh, Jacksonville, of course, decides to talk a lot of trash again. Yep. Which I think is incredibly stupid when you just lost last time. I do think the Patriots will win this game. I think it'll probably be another close game. I think it'll be extremely close. And my guess is Brady will lead a game-winning drive at the end of the game. Isn't that what they did against Jacksonville? Yeah, they came, they came down. The back, last down year 10. when they played them? Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think a similar thing will happen. Um, the difference in this game, I think, is that the Patriots' defense is significantly better. I agree. And yeah. I don't think... And Jacksonville's offense is just... You know not, anything about their offensive line? It's not great. <laughs> Well, it's not great. if that pass rush it's does what great. it did last week, it'll... It's better at run blocking than it is pass blocking. Yeah. Um, Patriots pass rush is really good, and <laughs> it's going to be a problem for uh, good old Blake Bortles there. Yeah. Um, I think, personally, I think the Jacksonville game, and then when they play the Minnesota, and Minnesota's gonna be it's going to be a really hard game. Those are the, I think, for me, those are the two hardest they'll play. But I, well, Minnesota, I think, is a more complete team. Yeah. Jacksonville is a great defensive team, but they're not great offensively. So we'll see what happens. It's not necessarily Borles' fault, but... It's, it's a 4-30 game tomorrow. Not a lot of offensive weapons on that team. I can't name any of them. Yeah, they don't have a very good receiving core. I think the only one Before I know... that is their best player. I think they had Julius Thomas, but he retired, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he was never... That's the only guy I can name that I know of. He retired. Yeah, to yeah. go finish his PhD. He a bunch of... Which I, is pretty I think cool. he was pretty banged up to begin with. Well, he, yeah, he but was. He, he wasn't great after he left Denver to begin with. No. He wasn't... I don't, I don't think he was quite as good, but... He had Peyton Manning for a little bit there, I think, at the, at the Broncos. 
I'm not sure. I forget when he played, but anyway. Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. Um, uh, so yeah, defensively, I think the Patriots will unleash their pass rush in the game to not give Bortles any time. Claiborne's been a complete monster. That's my guess, yeah, he's been good. And so. that's freed up a lot of other guys, like Dietrich Wise, to get into the backfield. Yeah. Um, it's actually put players back into the positions they should be playing. Well, and Hightower can uh, and also can rush outside too. Yeah. And Trey Flowers can rush inside more now. So their pass rush is, is one of the best in the league now, which is just so bizarre after last year when it was so horrible. So yeah. I think that's going to be the difference. Um, I just don't see Jacksonville scoring that many points. They might maybe, maybe 21 points at most. Um, Last week they didn't score. They they played. They played I did. I did hear that the Giants played very good against them, and that was a very low scoring game. It was like fifteen ten. Well, so the Giants have talent. They just never put it all together, really. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, twenty one seventeen. I guess. Yeah, I think that's probably a good. I think Brady has a good a estimate. Game winning touchdown or something towards the end, but. We'll see. I'll try and actually get a successful stream going at halftime this time. But during the game, but anyway. Alright, so we'll end it here. And we'll see uh what happens and do the recap after the game. This is Ryzen. And Liz. Thanks for watching. Take care.